Okay, uh, Jake told me that I need to be a little clearer on how to mix the mud correctly and put it on the walls because this is kind of a hard thing for beginners to get. And so, anyways, this is the mud. This is a six inch putty knife. And you can see I've mixed this mud up already. And you can see if I, if I lay it over like that, it kind of wants to fall, but, but it will support the knife. But, but if it sinks down, all the way in there, or it won't support the knife like that, then you know your mud is too thin and you're not going to get what you're looking for. And if it's so thick that it just kind of just, if you set it in here like this and it doesn't sink a little bit, then you know your mud's too thick. I know that's a kind of not very clear, but anyways, I was hoping to show you that that's about the consistency of the mud if you're going to put on a uh, texture like what I'm doing. And now I'll show you on the walls. Okay, I'm going to show you the technique again for putting the mud on the walls again. Now, when you're using your trowel here, one thing I uh, failed to mention last time is if, when I'm putting the mud on, I'm doing it evenly. But when I'm doing the texture part, or if I'm using my trowel to do regular joints, if the one side here has a certain amount of weight pressure on it, the other side has just a little bit less. And the reason I say that is if you have equal pressure then you're going to have on this side and on that side an edge that you're going to leave and you come across. But if you put just a little bit of pressure one way or the other, I do it so fast that I don't think about it anymore, but if you use just a little bit of pressure, how I do it is I'm holding it with my finger right there, and as I'm coming up, I'm just putting just a little bit of pressure to the left side, and if I'm going this way, a little bit of pressure to the right side. I'm not even holding the handle really, it's, it's, I've got my thumb on right here like this. That's how I do it. And I'll show you, when you go in a corner like this with a trowel, you don't always have to use it this way, you can go the other direction. Okay, you get started. That's how I do corners. I get it in there, and there again, I'm not, I know the corners can get to be a little bit messy. Uh, and not real perfectly smooth, but before you put your primer paint on the walls, uh, what I like to see done is you come by with a regular uh, painter's caulking, the latex painter's caulk, and uh, you go ahead and run a bead of painter's caulking in there, and then run your finger down it with your a wet finger or something, before you prime it, it, it serves two purposes. It makes that inside angle really nice and smooth, and it keeps it from cracking out potentially in the future. Now, I'm coming across here, and I'm just kind of smoothing this out. There again, as I said before, you don't have to. And, one thing I didn't explain before, is right then, I'm putting a little more pressure on the top side of my trowel. Okay, a little bit more pressure on the top. You can see what that does. It leaves an edge on one side only. And then I come across here. There again, it's just a little bit of pressure on one side or the other. And you can see how I'm holding the trowel. I just got very little weight on it. And then you keep looking at it and just see if you like it. And there again, I said inside corners like that are your hard part. Well, I'll get, let me get some more mud. I'm not trying to bore you folks, but I'm just, I want to show you the proper technique. Now, again, as I said, we're coming across here and I'm doing it somewhat evenly, straight up. I'm a little hollow right there. So I can put more mud there. There again, I'm, I'm trying to put an even coat, but there again, it's not critical. And I want to get rid of all my mud on my trowel hop. Okay, there you go. Now I can come by if I want and 
clean the edges up like that. But there's no reason to do any more than that. And then I come across and I just start playing with it. And I come at different directions. And I want to, uh, I'm doing a little skip troweling at the same time. And then uh, the flatter I leave my trowel, if I leave it flat to the wall, if I'm coming up and I just flatten it so it's all touching, that's skipping. So then you leave a little skip mark. If I leave just a little bit of angle, that gives you your smoothest, uh, flattest lines. If I get an edge on it, then that takes away and leaves a sharper edge. So you just play with it. Um, there's nothing wrong. I mean, I'm good with that. That's good. I just continue that process. If this outside edge starts drying up on you, it, it's no big deal. Uh, it acts like cottage cheese as it gets drier. And so when you're putting your next layer of mud over the top of that, you, you just go right over the top of it. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, I'm giving you one, uh, one of the final details that uh, this here is already a finished wall. And so I'm blending what I've been doing into this uh, already finished wall. And I want it to blend so you don't see a hard edge. And after it's all painted, you, you see that, oh, well, this was added on. This is the mud that I've been putting on the wall. And now this will be true whether you put it's this texture or, or, or even if you're taping and you flush it over. I got this rag here that I, as you can see, I've got, you know, I can see the water drip out. It's, it's kind of wet. And I come in here and I just kind of like, I kind of blend it over like that. And it actually melts the drywall mud and it blends it in. It, some people use a sponge and uh, this is the method I use. And you just play with it and get it blended in and it will melt that edge right in to the existing and you'll never know where that breaking point is. It blends so well. You can't sand it. If you sand it, you're going to see a hard edge. You're going to ruin the existing wall and everything. So instead, you do it this way, and it just melts it into the other one for a transition that is undetectable that it was ever added on.